Hey everyone, it's Alex with Web Hosting Canada, and today we're going to take a look at how to connect webmail to Gmail. So as you can see, I'm here in my cPanel account with Web Hosting Canada, and I've just created a new email address, and what I want to do is connect this email to a Gmail account so that I can check my email and send emails from my Gmail without needing to log into cPanel at all. So over here, I've created a new Gmail account, and you can create a new Gmail account for this purpose, or you can use one that you already have. It's really up to you. And over here on the right side, I'm going to click on this gear, which is the settings button, and then I'm going to click on settings. And then I'm going to click on accounts and import in this menu. And I'm going to come down to check mail from other accounts and click on add a mail account. Then in here, I'm going to put the email address that I want to connect and click next. And I'm going to say import emails from my other account using POP3. And here I've got the email address, which is correct. The username is the same as the email address. The password is the email address password, so I'm just going to type that in. The POP server is mail.yourdomain, and the port that we're going to use for this is 995. All right, now for this first box, it's leave a copy of retrieved message on the server. So if you want to leave a copy of each message that you receive in your cPanel account, then you should check this box. If you don't want to, then just leave this unchecked. Uh, for this box, always use a secure connection, SSL, when retrieving ma mail. We recommend checking this box because that means you'll be using a secure connection rather than an unsecured connection. Uh, this box is where you choose whether or not you want to label your incoming messages as the email address that you're using. So I'm going to say yes to that. And this one is, do you want to archive incoming messages automatically and skip the inbox? So I'm going to leave that one unchecked, and I'm going to say add account. All right, so my account has been added. You can now retrieve mail from this account. And would you like to be able to send mail from this account as well? So I'm going to uh, say no to this and then change it later. And then I'm going to click on finish. And then right here in the same place, um, or rather if I refresh now, you'll see that I can check mail from this account, from this solutions-web .ca email account, and I also want to be able to send email as that account. So up here just above where it says send mail as, I'm going to say add another email address, and it'll be my name and the email address that I want to use, and I'm going to leave this box checked to treat it as an alias because an alias is the best option for what I'm trying to accomplish here. And if you're just trying to read emails and send emails from your Gmail, you're probably going to want to leave this checked as well. But uh, just to be sure, I recommend reading the Learn More. But anyways, I'm just going to leave that checked. I'm going to click on Next Step. And then the SMTP server is mail.yourdomain. The port that we're going to use is 465. The username is, once again, the email address, and the password is my email password. And once again, we're going to use the secured SSL connection, and we'll click on Add Account. All right, so you can see that we have successfully added the account as an email that I can send from. And they have, uh, Google has automatically sent an email to this account to make sure that I have access to it. So I'm just going to minimize this window. And 
right here where it says check mail for other accounts, I'm going to say check mail now to get it to update. And then I'll go to my inbox. And as you can see, I've got a new email from the Gmail team. So I'll go to that and I just need to copy this code here. And then open up this window again, paste the code in there and click verify. And now if I go back to this screen, you'll see that I now have the ability to send mail through this account. And I'm going to change this right here so that I reply from the same email address the message was sent to rather than always replying from the default. And the preferences are automatically saved so I can go back to my inbox and at this point we can see that I can receive emails from this email and I can also click on compose and then right here there's a drop down menu and I can go to my solutions web email really easily and just send an email as I normally would in Gmail. So that is how you connect your webmail from cPanel to a Gmail account. You can use this process to both check your email and to send your email and that way you don't actually have to log into cPanel every time that you want to read your email or send an email. So if you have any questions related to webmail or uh, Gmail or the integrations between them, leave us a comment and let us know. Please subscribe to the channel, leave us a like, and we'll be back soon with more great content for you.